Crusade Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Opening day of trout season, well, you might want to have the rain jacket because there are some showers around the region right now. One of the places seeing the showers, that's here in Lancaster, where we take a live look. Pretty dark skies out right now. Still not seeing the first light as of right now, but the latest observation coming in with that light rain. 50 degrees in Lancaster, dew points near 40. That has come down. Yesterday they were in the 60s. It felt a little muggy out. The cold front moved through. A couple of thunderstorms went through. In fact, one uh, severe storm went through Lancaster itself. Dropped those dew points, but we're still dealing with a few of these showers across the region. A weak wave of low pressure is moving by, and it will be out of here by the time we hit the late morning hours. This rain will be wrapping up. Could be a couple of spotty showers, but really we're focusing our attention on this Arctic cold front, and it doesn't look like much. It's really not a whole lot in the way of precipitation, but what it is packing in terms of colder temperatures and also very strong winds will definitely be something we will be watching for through the overnight hours. Again, though, we have to get through the rain first. There's some uh, band of light to moderate rain showers now working its way through the Susquehanna Valley. You can see on Super Doppler 8 some yellows and oranges, a sign of where more of that moderate rain has started to develop. Adams County stretching into uh, around York and North, York, northern York County, up through about Lebanon County, seeing that uh, moderate rain as of right now, and it will start to shift really east northeast as we go through the next few hours. So again, the showers this morning, then we'll give way to a mixture of sunshine and clouds here in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. We've got Carlisle here in the background. Spotty shower chances linger into this afternoon, but most of us dry out after about noon today. It will be a breezy afternoon for us. Highs in the upper 50s, winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then tonight, that Arctic front arrives, and it will be bringing with it a, a chance of some rain or snow showers, which won't amount to much, but the winds will turn very windy sharply after midnight tonight. And uh, we'll see those winds about 20 to 30 miles per hour sustained overnight, gusts to 50 with air temperatures falling down to near freezing. That will put our wind chill values down into the teens by the, by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. A brutal morning to be outside. If you can avoid it, I would try to because it will be rather nasty for us. 42 to 46 is where we'll go for highs tomorrow. It'll stay blustery all day long, but the winds will start to diminish and taper off a little bit by the time we hit the afternoon. Wind highs in the 40s, but our wind chills will likely stay in the 30s all day long. And it's quite the contrast from where we were yesterday. We hit a high of officially 80 degrees. Last time we did that was September 24th. It's been over six months since we had a first 80 degree number there at Harrisburg International. Uh, we did pick up six one hundredths of an inch of rainfall as we saw some of those showers and storms move through, but most of those now move off to the east. Again, more showers this morning, but those lift off by about midday. We get into some sunshine this afternoon. Then here comes our Arctic front. It will almost look like a little pinwheel on radar by the time we wake up tomorrow morning and we'll see the front go through. Notice the wind shift quickly. Temperatures fall quickly as well. We're going to be uh, some spots down below freezing. I would bring in some of those sensitive plants if they are outside overnight into uh, tomorrow morning because it will get below freezing in a few spots. Tomorrow doesn't get much better. We will have more sunshine and uh, a little breezy uh, winds to go along with that. Then we head into Monday morning. We watch for another system. Could be some snow showers in the northern part of the state, but for us, it's mainly rain showers on Monday as another Arctic front goes through and we will cool down once again. Again, the winds are going to be a story today. High wind warnings for our eastern areas, Berks and Chester counties. Wind advisories for the rest of us in this pink area is where we could see wind gusts near 60 miles per hour overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. So a windy day for us overall. Winds taper off a little bit, but we get back into uh, some milder weather on Monday, some showers to go along with that. Much colder again on Tuesday before we rebound back to the 50s through the rest of the week and pretty unsettled looks like the late week as well. So pretty much a roller coaster ride, looking yeah. at the numbers up and down, up and down. Not a fun one. And tonight we'll definitely be watching those winds. I thought I could finally pack away all the heavy coats. Yeah, and I, I tell you what, 80 degrees yesterday going down to the 40s for mm. highs tomorrow. Brutal stuff. Shock to the system. There you go. All right, Matt, thank you.